today's topic is about managing the cash flows uh, once some of your especially in myanmar some of the hotels are already open and uh, most of them are still not yet open but hotels normally have uh, fixed expenses for your labor rental and other operating expense even though you may have one guest two guests in your hotel or 10 guests in your hotel so the the question is how do you manage your cash flows so it's not about uh, how we are going to source the cash flows is about how we manage what we have right so first thing that we uh, manage the the cash flow is uh, we know we all understand that we need to understand uh, the the future is uncertain right and we need cash to navigate during these uh, difficult times everything is by cash you need to pay your salaries you need to pay the electricity you need to pay the renter and everything is done in cash you cannot uh, pay something by other means so uh, managing it very managing it is very important so planning will help you to understand your uh, not only manage your cash uh, existing cash flow but also to understand what are the other business opportunities you may have what are the other cost management practices that you may want to apply because uh, managing cash means you going to change your way of doing the business you might have been doing the new normal where you have to put up more hygiene practice any sanitation all of this come at a cost all of this going to increase your cost of operations and also you might be hearing you will be having more local travels where people may not be able to pay you the money that you would be commanding last year or previous years so means your on one hand your revenue will go down other hand your cost will go up so how will you manage your cash flow you can run in deficit for a month maybe two months but how long you can continue where you going to source your money from so this is the cash planning is all about Uh, finding more resources of revenue saving the cost and also try to find out where how long we can survive and how much money do we really need for next 3 months next 6 months or next 12 months if you don't have that planning in your hand it will be very difficult for you to judge how much money do you need right so for example we know in myanmar the government has been asking to submit the loan applications where you can get some soft loans so that also requires your cash flow planning so we're going to discuss the fundamentals how we do that and i will share you a template also a excel template you can use that template to to run your own cash flows so the one first thing what you need is uh, when in normal situation the first thing you need while you making a cash flow is understand the past actual trends now actual trends you need to understand more than your occupancy you need to understand where your occupancy is coming preferably by market segment so how much of the business is coming from your website from your otas from your travel agent corporate customer what how much of them are coming at the groups how much of them is coming from the individuals also where they are coming from the nationality are they your guest mostly are chinese or koreans or thais europeans how you have been selling so distribution channels your uh, otas your own booking.com uh, if you have um, appointed any travel agent direct sales walk ins and also the fnb business because most of the hotels while they are focusing on uh, room revenue i see they ignore the internal revenue streams like spa or fnb so you have so have to think how much money you have been generating from spa from fnb and what else you can do what, depending on the guest flow so if you understand your nationality your occupancy you will be able to judge what should be the fnb covers or how much how much uh, money you are able to generate from outside uh, customers how much of them are coming from walk in local customers can you do the delivery business and historical trend on the cost of sales especially the variable cost what is what have been your variable cost 
that you need to adjust to your changing operating standards operating uh, you may need to have new hygiene standards sanitation mask gloves you are you may be giving new amenities you may be taking out something as well from your rooms depending on your how your new normal is established so once you understand your historical trends your cost your fixed cost then the next step for you would be to make a action plan and understand the future trends correct so while you are making the future trends you need to think on the uh, the pastel you might have already learned uh, pastel political economic uh, legal technological development environmental uh, developments in the in the country of our, our operation since we are in myanmar you may be thinking from the what are the support from the government that is helping are they allowing you to run as a quarantine center you might be hearing that the government is putting uh, one one week of institutional quarantine maybe you can approach the government to make them make offer your hotel as a quarantine center or as a institutional quarantine to gain some revenue also economic recovery engine what are the new businesses coming in the property in the country what else you can do so your all the your future plans would depend on what are the restrictions on travel technology what are the robotics or automation systems that you are able to generate your digital uh, environment green initiatives uh, most of the countries travel agents now are pushing on sustainable environment so do you have to forcefully have to do that if you don't plan it then you will lose the opportunities so cash management is not only the uh, only cash is also the entire business planning and most importantly the behavioral changes in the customer may they may be fear to travel they may want to change their habits in they were traveling with the groups now maybe they will uh, travel only with the families or individual travels or they may be frustrated so you they it may give a new opportunities for you to do spa wellness uh, that factors into your host in your hotels in your spas so you need to understand the customer behavioral changes as well apart from that you need to assess the impact of the your individual business uh, of this crisis depending on your market segment depending on your product features for example you may be a mice hotel you may be just a group hotel when the the groups are not traveling are not allowed to travel or people may not be doing the traveling business so you may be losing out if you are mostly a resort which is giving only the uh, luxurious uh, luxurious high luxurious uh, offer services you may be again uh, having problems finding guests because they may not be having enough money or desire to travel in the current situations so it depends on what are the market feature what are your location how far you are from the cities because if we know that the people will be traveling within the city uh, then uh, if you are far away for example in island or in putao those hotels would find it very difficult to get the guests because uh, accessibility is difficult right so how you can access uh, by road by airplane by by drive so if it depends on the individual location so you need to understand what are the constraints <coughs> in your own city what sort of business is allowed and what are they allowed to do in the businesses based on that you need to find alternative revenue generating schemes so you might be doing you may these are some options that uh, i could think of in the current scenario but you can think of more right running local staycation packages maybe mental and physical wellness initiatives running some healthy uh, fnb items for dining some uh, hotels are doing changing their restaurants or hotel into co-working spaces shared offices centers some of them are doing the cooking classes some of them are selling the breads now you will see in yangon lot of hotels are selling breads or selling uh, recipes right or take away business so that is again uh, you need to find out what are the new alternative revenue generating opportunities that you can have 
depending on the customer profile or customer behavior that you might you need to assess it continuously it's not one exercise it's a continuous exercise for probably uh, coming months because as we expect the business is not going to be normal for next uh, probably 6 to 12 months then you need to make plans uh, not the revenue generating plans only the operational plans so what are your operational and marketing things that you're going to do so it may be based on the how much of your hotel you would be opening up depending on the business requirements 5% 10% what are the revised sop for your operations what your people need to do in terms of hygiene sanitation you may need to buy the ppe gloves safety guest expectations in the mind and your you need to revisit also all your amenities and procedures to ensure that there is a least friction and human touch needed at the check in at the check out uh, room service right so you need to make sure that but you need to also make sure that the guest does not feel like techno uh, like in the hospital or in the clinic you need to still provide them uh, human experience because people come to the hotel only for experience otherwise they will go to hospitals uh, yeah so the other thing you need to also revisit your brand standards what are the value propositions that you your hotel is doing if you don't have it it's maybe a right time for you to assess what is the value proposition you are serving what is the problem that you are solving for your guest is it location means you are providing the benefit of your location or you are providing the comfortable room or you are providing efficient service or you are providing excellent food you are providing excellent uh, clean hotel what exactly you are giving to your customer so you may need to revisit those standards again and a very very important thing is staffing level so if you're going to run one room a day two rooms a day or 10 rooms a day how much staff do you need do you need all of your staff to be at the hotel do you need 10% of the staff 20% of the staff are they multi skill so that depends on the multi skilling if let's say you your hotel has front office and fnb are multi skilled then you can run with one person right but if you don't have the multi skill people you need separate for fnb separate for housekeeping separate for fo but if they are multi skilled you can you can uh, combine the duties for one very low business so it you may also need to see what are the skill levels of your staff you may want to train them so you may want to spend money there where they are they are going to make more impact will outsourcing help you to reduce your cost maybe instead of cooking the breakfast by yourself if what if you're going to go and buy from seasons or what if you're going to go and do a contract from outside outside uh, restaurant will it help you running your own kitchen running your own laundry will cost you a lot of money not in terms of manpower also the utilities so you may need to do a understanding a break even analysis what is better for you you going to run your own or you can outsource your things also what are the marketing effort that you going to do a lot of people are now saying okay the business is low let's not do the sales let's not do the marketing but that's not what is the right strategy so you need to understand what are your customers and reassess your marketing strategy you're going to spend on fb you're going to do the boosting you want to do the advertisement in the news local newspapers for your running businesses so it determines on your individual locations you want to do offline online marketing so you need to choose where you're going to spend the money easily which is more effective for you the cash management means you can it's not means that you're going to cut the cost or you're going to save you you will not spend anything it depends mostly on what is your most desirable expense that you want to do and you spend your money on where it going to affect you the most it help you to either generate more money more revenue or it helps to reduce your operational cost so even though it may need to buy a new equipment let's say if you need to do it it doesn't mean that uh, we are doing cost management so we don't spend any money so certain things that uh, you may want to do while uh, in a current scenario 
cost management practices that you can do is zero base manning uh, zero base manning means you need to assess do you really need all the staff all the positions that you are holding at different level of your occupancies if you hold five rooms a day 10 rooms a day how many people do you realistically need to make sure you meet your brand standards or your level of service that you already have achieved but making sure all your resources are used properly then you also need to assess uh, multi make consider the multitasking consider the automation of your processes can you use uh, some equipments which will help you to do the automation instead of washing dish by hands maybe you want to use a dishwasher use a vacuum cleaner to clean or a varnisher polisher so there are machines equipments which are helping to reduce the much the labor the manual labor jobs so you may need to look at that you may want to revise your sop to make to use the, the minimum labor you may also think on uh, pay cuts i mean i'm sure everybody is doing that now doing the pay cuts or deferring the salary payments to new uh, to the future months or uh, putting your converting your fixed contracts into your variable pays as a percentage to revenue instead of paying a fixed money so it depends on what are uh, what are the agreements between you and your staff these are some of the things energy saving everybody is doing that uh, nowadays i'm sure but you need to also ensure that it doesn't mean cutting the standards cutting the corners because energy saving may cause other damages to the property if you don't run the air cons it may get moldy get fungi so you may need to think about uh, those standards you may use advanced coating films to manage the internal temperature so the, if you have a glass window you may want to use coating which is transparent so it doesn't reduce it doesn't hamper the vision from inside but it keep the sun rays outside the room so it helps to manage the internal temperature so your ac will not use a lot of electricity correct then you may, you may want to use natural natural lights uh, you may want to open the windows or make arrangements in your building to get natural light instead of using the using the electricity staggered use of equipment to reduce the load of your of your business you may want to use in the night or you may want to use in the day in this is mostly for the other markets international markets where the night charges and day charges are different in myanmar night charges and day charges are same but load is different right so you because sometimes you are paying based on the load that you have so you may want to reduce the load but instead of running every equipment all the your laundry your kitchen your other equipment at the same time you may want to use it staggered you may want to use morning for kitchen evening for laundry so you may want to think about that as well you may want to also uh, consider the outsourcing of your laundry you may want to have a synergy between the if you have let's say two or more hotels in one location you may want to uh, do a shared services you may want to do kitchen and laundry at one hotel to support more than one hotel or you can do a contract with your competing hotels to help each other if let's say instead of running if your location has five hotels instead of all five hotels run their laundry equipment you can have a contract with each other okay we the one hotel run the machine and other hotels support uh, share the cost so it may help in all the hotels to save the cost so these are the times not the times when you are going to compete with each other it is the time when you are going to help each other you may also want to manage your supply chain to reduce your stock uh, requirement for your freezer requirement for your chiller you may want to talk to your suppliers to keep the stock for you instead of stocking at the hotel so that is again uh, to save on the energy save on the spoilage save on other things you may want to use certain modern kitchen equipments which helps uh, where they are less energy usage uh, low voltage equipments but more efficient it may need your it may need you to spend more money but in the longer term it will help you to save on the operational cost 
So you may want to see if the ROI or payback period is three months, six months, you may as well spend the money. Or resurfacing your air cons, your laundry machines, your uh, in generators to make sure you they are they, if they are efficient. They are able to generate or use required electricity or other things in a more easier way. Uh, there are now a lot of things to do. So uh, I am I'm giving you a system where you can manage your costs on priorities because there are a lot of things to do at the hotel. So you need to manage your um, cost in an ABC system. You might have learned 80-20 uh, principle where you're going to save 80% of cost with 20% efforts. So here is the A means your long-term efforts, but high impact items. So these impact will do these actions will get you long-term uh, impact or, but it will take you some time to be able to implement it. For example, labor cost or energy cost. These are high impact items, but you cannot fix it one day or two day or one month or two months. It's going to take you time, probably two months, three months to work out on the standards, work out on training, find out the equipments because it's not the Corona times are, or this current crisis times is not like it's going to go away in one month or two months or three months. It's going to go a long way. So you may want to spend money or your efforts on those items first rather than small items. Your rental. If your hotel is on lease from your from government or from the other properties, you may want to do a renegotiate the contract with your owners either to waive some, some rental fees or at least defer in the payments. Then there are some low hanging fruits which are short term like outsourcing like uh, fixed contract negotiations. If you have, a, if you're paying AMC, you are paying the Wi-Fi, you are paying the data. So you may want to negotiate with them to reduce your uh, annual maintenance charges for your software, for your equipments, try to negotiate the maintenance contracts of your lifts or your other equipments. So those are low hanging trips, but they are short term. You, you, will, you will not be able to um, negotiate for a long period of time, right? You may be able to save three months cost, six months cost at a maximum. Nobody is going to give you 100% uh, waiver for entire of your life. Then you may want to think of definitely replacing the imported food with your localized items or develop the local suppliers to be able to supply you. Menu and recipe engineering is again uh, some aspect when you open, you may want to reduce your menu so that you don't have to prepare a lot of maison place. You don't need to have a lot of staff to prepare the menu or to be on standby. So you may want to simplify your menu. If your item have 20 items now, you may want to reduce it to maybe five or 10 items at a maximum because you are not going to uh, get 100% occupancy. Then there are some low impact items, but it's going to take your efforts. So amenities and other importing other items like telephone, transportation, these items you should be focusing only at the end because once you have explored all your uh, all your other items, A, B items, then you should focus on the C items. So this is how you can prioritize your uh, cost saving measures. Uh, there are certain things that you may want to prepare yourself. Uh, negotiation for your rental agreements, for your maintenance agreements. Uh, you may be have, have taken some loans from the banks or from governments or from your uh, other uh, informal channels. So you may want to discuss with them on the principal moratorium or interest moratorium to make sure that you don't have to pay in the current scenario so that you can manage your cash, whatever you have. Take advantage of the government subsidies, tax reduction, soft loans. Uh, I hope everybody has applied approved already. You may want to, you may need to change your employment contracts if, especially when you are doing the pay cuts for reduce our leave without pays, defer payments. You may want to have an agreement with the, with the, all your employees. So it's not maybe an individual agreement. You may want one standard template, and everybody can sign on the same agreement. Just to agree on. 
Uh, you may also want to discuss with your suppliers for longer credit period. So if you uh, just stop the payments to your suppliers without communicating with them, it may be not a very uh, good for your long term relationship. So you may want to openly discuss with your suppliers that we cannot afford a 30 day payment. Maybe we want to do a 60 day payment or a 90 day payment. So that is the things that you may want to. That is uh, something you may be wanting to do in the current scenario. Cash discount. So you, if your AR, if your supplier is not able to pay, your travel agent is not paying you the money. You may want to take this advantage to give them cash discount, maybe one percent or two percent or three percent. What will happen is at least they will be enticed to pay you off immediately. They also need to manage their cash flow or their cost. So if you are giving them some benefit by giving them discounts on their existing views, at least you will get some cash immediately instead of borrowing the money because the mantra in this current time is the survival. It's not that you're going to lose your money or make profits out of it. It's just to survive these uh, coming six to 12 months with the cash that you have. And manage the lean inventory so you may want to do a supply chain uh, agreements with your with your suppliers to make sure you have lean inventories you don't have to maintain a lot of inventory for your hotels uh, in terms of housekeeping housekeeping amenities linens uh, operating equipments all those kind of things okay there are certain things that again you should uh, be focusing on uh, longer term uh, these are the things that you may not be uh, it may not be in your directly uh, in control for example consolidation if your hotel chain, if you are a hotel chain or you want to become a hotel chain you are the owner of the property or you want to suggest your owners you may want to do consolidations uh, mergers so that you can combine the synergies of businesses combine two hotels or do the franchising business in this kind of time do work on your brand reputation and strong operational standards so in these times these are the low times so you may want to take advantage of these times to do a lot of training a lot of uh, brand reputation communication many hotels are communicating or engaging with their uh, creating a fan following by sharing some inspirations around the society so they are sharing live kitchen videos live cooking videos or live yoga, live uh, um, gym exercises on their Facebook page, on their hotel websites, so that they can continue to have a brand communication with the with other hotels, with the with their potential customers. And you may also need to think about your business continuity plans uh, for your, especially for your software, for your employees, offices which are slightly away from your, uh, from your businesses. So this was a very short profile just to give you a structure. It's a lot of work. I have shared that this is in about 15, 20 minutes, but it's gonna, it's gonna take you a lot of efforts to do these things. Uh, these are my Facebook page or YouTube page or uh, my website if you are, if you will, if you wish, you can visit them to have a look and learn more videos on my YouTube. I continue to share a lot of videos on the on the uh, on my course of my courses, so you can follow that. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel so that you can get uh, free videos. Okay, that's about it. So now I will uh, give the my hand to Mr. Philip. Okay, thank you, Manish. Um... I just would like to um, invite any questions if you want to ask yep. Manish so that he can answer for you. So before uh, my team start questions, I would like to start questions to you. Yeah. And, and then you mentioned that um, to, to do the local staycations package. Mm -hmm. So now you are in Burma. Yes. And I'm in Australia. So I yes. have, I, we do have the local staycations for my mm -hmm. hotel. Mm -hmm. But I just would like to ask on behalf of all others, hotels owners here, yeah. Yeah. what camps of package would be the best right now in Yango, Nibido, Pagan, everywhere? Mm -hmm. 
see uh, currently we have to think on uh, what are the, the travel restrictions i tell you for example like now if uh, some zone some in myanmar zone some of the zones have put the quarantine uh, restrictions so you may want to run special promotions where which are within the region for example if you are in let's say paten so you may want to invite people from paten because people staying home or people, uh, they are not able to travel outside they are still travel enthusiast so you may want to put up the experience because if you just offer the room only nobody is interested they are staying in the hotel already they are staying in their home already so staycation package means you're going to give some experience local experience or your brand experience what you can give to the guest to reduce their frustration while staying home or not able to go out of their zone so if you are if you are lucky you have natural space in your hotels you may want to promote with a angle of natural beauty uh, spa uh, relaxation packages so which, which helps people because now the currently people have problems mostly on uh what what is their problem they are not able to go outside they are not able to get the fresh air they are stuck in the current business so you may want to give them one night and get a very special experience uh dinner or lunch with uh, some uh, relaxation so but before doing that i think the hotel need to also establish their credentials establish their ability to deliver so as i said some of the hotels has been sharing free videos on their youtube just to inspire the guests that okay they can come to the hotel they can get free classes yoga classes uh, they can learn the cooking if they, they if you have any specialty so it's all about the, i think the, we, the after attending a lot of webinars what we are now learning is only those hotels which are unique which are able to create something unique experience will be able to survive if the hotel is normal everybody is like everybody hotel then it will be very difficult to differentiate thank you uh, i please give me a few minutes uh, to yes. speak them into burmese but you know um manish you know to meda ga you know ku chai ma pe package account zone le lu you know to me get it no tu ga ba pyan phi le so chi yin ku the di ko no ga pyan phun ja ro me uh, to, to so if you are offering only the rooms, a kame hotel hotel below experience below offer no, we get a more chance to attract the new customers So that was เอ่อจนเราโฮเทลมาสปาရှိတယ်ဆိုရှင်အခန့်အပြင်ဒီလိုဒီလိုကျွန်တော်တို့စပာစီကျွန်တော်ထည့်ပြီးတော့ပေး
So you got two properties in, in Yango and you have many brands, uh, many places in, in Myanmar. So what did you do to generate revenue in this period within your hotel? But you know, me and me go to go to the Rosa Hotel Maloni there. And I do a hotel group, ma. I cha wing with the wind out there, Nila, anybody don't know, you know, got me in that today. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. But for example, in Yangon, what we just before the luckily before the pandemic, we just converted our restaurant to a delivery business. Uh, the one in Yang, the one that we have in Yangon. So that was another thing, and uh, we have long stay customers in the service apartment in our Yangon service apartment. So which is on the Ledan Center. So we used to have a kind of fixed business. Plus we do the the delivery by Yangon door to door or other other processes. Uh, so that was the something that we did, and i was also trying to do a but during the current time is not that easy to get the other revenue streams yes we can plan the future but what we have planned is we have planned for a co-working space so we will be doing a co-working once the people have started to do nowadays you will see a lot of people are uh, staying from home working from home but working from home is also not the very easy thing right because it's very difficult to focus on the thing. So uh, people will need a quiet space. So since in Yangon we have apartment, we have the we have the space. We're gonna be offering it as a we are already offering it as a co-working space. So you can go there, stay there for a, a whole day. You don't have to pay anything. Just a fix uh, like you can order coffee, tea. That's it. So we are offering it for free. So that is uh, that is helping us to create some additional revenue. Then um, the other revenue streams for other hotels at this point of time, it will be very difficult to say because it depends on the location of the hotel and what hotel staff can do. But I can tell you some of the hotels are, uh, for example, as I said, they are doing cl cooking classes. What they are doing is to the high class, uh, not to the everybody, right? Uh, high class society peoples. Uh, they are offering the customized menu because people are stuck at home. They cannot get the maids in, uh, and they are scared of getting the maids, but they, they cannot cook by themselves as well. So some of the hotels are now planning uh, like a weekly menu. They are delivering the half cooked uh, recipes or the remission plus and uh, the, the, the houses can cook by themselves. So they get experience of both cooking by home but the hotel experience so uh, some of the hotels are doing that as well thank you uh you know from up young people look at lama logo so level i don't need to waste his time and my time so some people do resolution if you think that um uh, you need to me and translate for you just say yeah make a home for me 